Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. Cerberus, Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Mm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I'd like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line. I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? The job I'm proudest of wasn't for the Alliance. Nobody really knows about it. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. You were actually the Alliance poster boy and they still dumped you. Way to boil it down, Jacob. I hope you keep a better attitude about our current mission. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back! That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. That's it for now. Commander. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. 
I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but... With all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? 
was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Jacob Taylor? I certainly didn't expect to see you again. I'm sure you didn't. No, please. So many years have passed since Tortuga. Lots of water under the bridge. I take it you've met each other before. Jacob and I worked a mission with Ish a few years back. He helped us with some information. You sent me into a nest of Turian thugs in a Batarian ambush. Hey now, my job was to get you inside. Anything more would have cost you extra. Is this gonna be a problem? If we don't walk away, I promise he'll give you a reason to shoot him. It sounded like you were watching us, Ish. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. I'm listening. I'm in the information business, specifically the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good to see you alive, Jacob. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money. But I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. This place... How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand, or you don't want to. Does it really matter? No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person. But you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way, but I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? 
fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Talok calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Solarian named Morton Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Mind has done too much already. Uh, your plague did this to me. <laughs> your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morton Solis. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorture burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, Damn. stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people, and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> I should go. Goodbye, human. The claw's way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal.
Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared. But your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Good call. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. Professor, we're running low on some poxy. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in batarians. Supplement with butemerol. Melanarin and butemerol. Got it. 
Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Heplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine, better option. No, no, no. Demazine, toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Professor Morton Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before District suffocates. Here, take Plague Cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Suns, Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Let's head for the environmental plant. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No. Those vials contain the cure. Please. You have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should Look out! Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... Everything. We're close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fans. Ah, you don't come here! We shut down machines! Break fans! Everyone choke and die! Then collectors make us strong! I've had enough of this. Collectors want plague! You work for doctor! Turn on machines! Put cure in air! We kill you first! Ah! Incoming!
environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy.